Dave Stegel here from Going to 11. Today, I want to show you real quick my RX workflow when I'm working in Pro Tools. I've had a bunch of people asking how I handle this lately, so just thought I'd do a quick video because it's easier to just show it. So first up, this is my template that I'm using right now for any audio post. Um, I have the same setup if I'm working on music projects, though, uh, not in terms of the tracks in there, but in terms of how I use RX. And the big key to this first is this RX monitor AUGs down here. This is just an AUGs track, and I have a plugin on here called RX Monitor, and this routes the audio from RX back into Pro Tools. So whatever I'm doing in RX, it comes in on this AUGs, and then that AUGs in turn gets routed to a couple of buses and I have one called RX mono and I have a, an RX stereo one. So whatever kind of channel I'm working on, I'm actually going to set that to the input of that channel. So let me get an OMF in here and show you what I mean. Okay. So I brought in a, an OMF of, this is just, just somebody talking I believe he was there, but I still didn't feel like. All right. Um, first step for me is I want to load my dialogue track presets because this is basically just a talking head. So I would classify that as dialogue because he's going to be on camera talking. So I'll get my dialogue preset going. All right. So the first thing that you should note is this input right here that input automatically turns into that RX mono, which is the, the output of this AUGs down here. And I can just hide this when I'm working because I don't need to see it. So let's say I need to send a section. Like there's something in here that I need to do some work in RX. I can go under Audio Suite and I can get the RX Connect plugin and send it if I put this in input mode, then I'll hear it coming back right through that channel. So any processing that I've already done on that channel, I'll get to listen to it while I'm working in RX. I actually have a macro set up with Keyboard Maestro, so I can just hit a hot key, it pulls that open, sets it to input mode, and now I've got RX working here. And uh, I felt like I was able to breathe. I was able to uh, not just absorb more things, you know, maybe I need to, where is, usually I use a plugin for this these days, but let's say I need to mouth declick it, set that. So I've, I've declicked it, I need to send it back. So I hit send back. Now I can just hit render. Um, I actually have a, a hotkey again. I just hit control shift R, renders it toggles the input, sends it back. So it's a real seamless workflow for me, and I can just kick stuff to RX when I need to and do whatever needs to be done to it in there and then bring it right back and move on with the mix. So there you go. If you've got questions, throw them in the comments. Um, if you want to find out more about me, you can see my websites at uh, stagelproductions.com is where I do all my kind of post and mixing work. And going to 11.com, I take care of training for churches and post articles up there. So I uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.